welcome to my bathroom. Good morning. I am about to do my skincare. Just did my toner. Here is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. Merit sent to me to try out. I've been using it for maybe like a week and a half and it's been really good. You shake it and then you pump it. Pump it on your hand. I'm gonna do it down here so I don't spray it. And you just massage it into your face. Just like that. Oop, got it in my hair. I have extreme dry skin in the winter, and so this has been really helping me out. It's good for moisture and for glow. The other day I was wearing it, and my friend was like, oh, your skin looks so glowy. What are you wearing? And I was like, oh, it's just a serum. And I told her about it. Thank you, Merit, for sending this to me. If you guys want to check Merit out, they have a bunch of cool stuff. Please check out the link in the description. I forgot to say something, so I'm popping in to tell you some important information. But Merit is doing their only sale of the year. It's 20% off site-wide, and there's also door busters, which are like extra little discounts on their sets. They have this skin serum also on sale, so if you want to grab it, this is the time for it. And every first order comes with a free bag. And this pouch is like so cute. It literally carries so many things. I always put all my essentials here, and then I leave all the extra things that I'm not using every day in my bathroom, but it is a really good pouch. So if you want to get something, now is your chance. I haven't done a sit down video in a really long time. I've been posting videos, but my videos keep coming out late because I film them and I film them and I film them and then I edit them late. My bad, but still, my vlogs are always two months late and therefore you don't really get to see and interact with the current me and I don't really get to interact with the current you either. So I felt it is necessary and optimal for me to pop in and say hi and catch up and chat and then my uploads will just keep coming as they come and so the numbering thing on my gap years entry will just go in the order of my post but not chronological but if you've been here long enough you know nothing's chronological here so it's great Hi, I'm Nicole. I am currently 21 years old, go to the University of Toronto. I'm currently on a year off. I just finished my third year in May and, or April. I am South Korean, Canadian. I was born in Toronto, 2001. My parents were both born in Korea. They flew here and settled down and we lived in a bunch of different places, moved around a ton of times, and now we've settled down in the great town of Richmond Hill. Though I do miss Aurora. I lived most of my life in Aurora, moved down to Richmond Hill, went to school in North York, but here I am in Richmond Hill again because we're on a year off. I'm not an expert in anything. I'm just here to talk about my experiences. Hopefully it's a comfortable and safe, warm space for you, which is kind of what I want it to be for me and what I've been trying to make it for me. I'm just consistently making videos, consistently trying to be consistent and making videos to just document my life to remember the things and remember to find joy in the small things. I feel like that's really what this helps me do. And also just help someone out if possible because that's always what I want to be doing. I came back from Korea a few weeks ago and jet lag was surprisingly quick. It only took like three, maybe max four days, which is very fast because I usually take like seven to 10 days. I had a week off to get settled and then I went back to work the week after. And so I'm doing the same job as I've been doing in the summer, except I'm trying to do a little bit more uh, and try some new projects because we have some projects that are finishing up and new ones that we're, we're trying to do. Shameless plug, I'm gonna quickly talk about the web series that I've been working on uh, with U of T, with the amazing communications teams called Joe's Basketball Diaries, a web series. You can find it on YouTube. I will link it in the description below. If you have some time, please check it out. It is an original talk show series hosted by Professor Joe Wong, the VP International of U of T. And it's basically like bringing in a bunch of cool guests, talking about different issues. So every episode has like a main theme. And so talking about different things with them. The first episode just came out and it's about the sports transcend politics and borders. So check it out if you're interested, even if you're not, check it out, you might like it. It's very educational, I feel like. It gives you a lot of perspective on different things. And there's a lot of different voices you'll get to hear, so check that out. So that's coming to an end. We're just doing some finishing things, and now I'm helping out this coming week for U of T News. So we're covering some different news stories in a quick, fun, social way. So if you are interested in U of T, or if you go to U of T, please check out all their social channels because fun stuff is coming out. Fun, fun. I would say fun, okay? Like as fun as you can get from a corporation, okay? If you get what I mean. It is what it is. It's still very good quality, so check it out. Besides that, I've been tutoring consistently. I'm trying to decrease the number of hours I tutor so I can increase the number of hours I put into work for U of T and also just like YouTube and stuff. I haven't really been too 
like thinking about YouTube, but recently I chatted with a friend and I just felt really motivated to kind of be more active and consistent on YouTube. So we'll see how that goes. I am trying to be less afraid of trying new things and trying to be less afraid of creating things, even if I don't think it's gonna be good and stop letting that negative voice in my head like tell me that I can't do something. Yeah, I was like praying about it like a few days ago and I really saw like I have such a desire to do things well and do things perfectly and be liked that it stops me from actually doing anything and it's really annoying and so i was like lord help me like help me break out of this it's definitely built upon things that have been in my environment the way that i've been taught to think about things etc i think uh with more prayer and just being more sure of my identity outside of the things i do and just for who i am in christ like i think well i know it's going to help me but i think it's still hard to get there because that's just another thing where I'm like, I have to do this well. I have to understand my identity well. And so it's just like this thing that I'm trying to break is the reason that I can't break it. And you know, I'm just taking this whole thing too on and being like, Lord, help me. I feel like overall mental health wise, I've been doing a lot better. And for me, there's like very clear signs that I can see when I know my mental health is doing well and when it's not. How I know if I'm doing well or not is my room stays clean for more than like a day or two if my mental health is doing well. And so I have surprisingly been keeping it semi-clean. Like I would say it's clean compared to what it used to look like um, when I was in a very low season. Um, and another thing is I rip my fingernails and my finger skins and other areas. So that's how I know. Right now, only one of my nails are being ripped. So it's a good sign. It's a good improvement from all of them. So great stuff. Yeah, overall, I feel like I'm at more peace with myself but you know it's still a work in progress because sometimes i feel like i start feeling better and then because i feel better i've if it doesn't keep going like that i feel like even more worse after because i'm like why can i stay like that why did i have to fall into another thought hole rabbit hole pit thing but i again i'm trying not to do the whole have such high expectations of how you're supposed to figure things out and feel and think and I feel like even as I talk, I'm just like thinking about what if someone takes it the wrong way? What if someone feels, I don't know, offended or thinks that I should have been more sensitive about something? Like, I don't know. I just want to, I just want to talk. I just want at least this to be a place where I can just say what's on my mind and hopefully encourage you to say what's on your mind and talk it out and think it through and share with the people around you or share with um, a close friend or a close one. Okay, bye. I love you all. See you soon. And if you ever want to chat, message me on Instagram. Bye.